Hello, hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to Digital Marketing Skill Institute. And my name is Sheung Arumavo, and I'm here to talk about how to grow organically on YouTube as a total beginner, right? So, but before we dive into this, I'd like you to subscribe in our YouTube channel to actually get more updates on when we make posts and when we drive our information to you. So basically, I want to talk about some easy ways to actually go through when um, growing your subscribers or you're growing your likes or growing your uh, traffic on YouTube as a total beginner. The first thing you want to look at here is the audience. You want to look at the audience. You want to look at the people you're trying to reach this information to. You want to look at the people that need the information that you're posting on your YouTube channel. You want to make sure that information that are posting on your YouTube channel is directly um, going for a particular set of people. Maybe your YouTube channel is for digital marketing um, um, skills or your YouTube channel is for a particular product or your YouTube channel is for a lifestyle. You want to make sure that people who are actually interested in these things get more information on your YouTube channel. So yes, your audience is very, very important in this particular aspect. Another angle we want to look at is your content, right? You want to look at the content you're putting on your YouTube channel. Like I said earlier on, if your YouTube channel is not making any sense, if the information that post, you're posting there is actually not um, directly um, helping people in resolving issues or giving them information, then there's, there's no way they want to come up, to come back to subscribe on your YouTube channel or to even come back to watch your videos when they even get updates. So yeah, your content, when you talk about content, you're talking about the, um, the information that you're trying to give out to them, the content of your YouTube um, um, videos must be well structured. So we're talking about structuring your YouTube videos to make sure that it's actually passing out the right information to people who come there to watch your content, right? So we've looked at the right audience, we looked at the content, now, I want to even talk about the right timing to posting on your YouTube channel or your YouTube page. The right timing, you know, there's an easy way to know this. When you make a particular post, you can go back to um, YouTube analytics to check how that post did, the particular time people saw the post. You can also check um, the reactions and the actions taken when people, when you actually made that post. That way, it will help you to know the particular time your post actually doing well on YouTube, right? And actually, the time people actually take out time to um, make actions on your YouTube channel. So you want to actually take out time to look at the time strategy, create a time strategy to make sure that you're posting um, your, your contents out, the time your audience are ready, or they have that particular time frame to look at the, um, the post. So that leads me to the next one I'm talking about, which is talking about being consistent, right? You cannot say you're, you're running a YouTube channel or you cannot say you're, you're, you're running like a, a post on a YouTube channel and you're not consistent, right? It is very important for you to be consistent because consistency actually allows the page to run well and it increases your graphics or your, or your graph on the YouTube analytics. So it is very important that you are consistent when posting. You're not posting today about lifestyle, tomorrow you're posting about digital marketing, the next day you're posting about something else. You have to be consistent in the particular um, information you're posting on your um, YouTube channel or your YouTube page. You also have to be consistent about not, okay, so let me give a perfect example in posting this week then it takes me to maybe August before I make another post. That's not consistency. So if you want people to actually subscribe on your YouTube channel, you have to make sure that you're giving them information back to back so that they can always uh, feel eager to come back to subscribe on your page, right? So the major thing is, what I'm trying to drive out here is making sure that you get organic followers or you get um, organic likes on your YouTube channel and these are the things you can actually do to make sure that you actually get um, followers or you do well on the YouTube channel. First, I talked about knowing the right audience. I've talked about um, structuring, out, structuring out the right content 
I've talked about time strategy. I've talked about structuring your videos well. And I've also talked about um, posting the right um, videos on your YouTube channel, right? You also want to make sure that you're posting quality videos. People cannot come and watch your videos and then the videos are not clear or the audio of the videos are not um, um, well descriptive enough. So uh, you also know, don't want to um, do what other people are doing. You want to make sure that your YouTube page or your YouTube channel is more unique to you. You want to make sure that you're doing your own thing. You are, you are you're um, free when doing your videos on YouTube. It's not something that you um, you find it difficult in doing, right? So these are the things you can actually do to make sure that you're driving traffic in your um, YouTube page by making sure that you're increasing organically on YouTube. And I hope that in our next lesson you or in the next videos on our youtube channel you'll be able to get more information about how to grow organically on your youtube page and how to do well as a digital marketer on your youtube channels thank you very much i hope to see you next time